Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to this episode. This, on this video, what I really wanna check about is this is one of the most requested videos to do. This is new finish, the once a year car polish. One of the most requested products to test and demo. Now, on the onset, I'm a little confused of how I'm actually gonna apply the product because it says no rubbing, and no buffing, not sure how it goes on, but if you flip the bottle around, the, the thing that I'm most interested in is that it says right here, where is it? That an independent test have proven that, fa uh, that new finish will bead, shine, and protect for a whole year, even after 52 automatic car washes. And I think that is the point right there automatic washes, tunnel washes. They are saying that this will stand up to 52 tunnel washes. Now the thing about tunnel washes is they use higher pH products, more aggressive products uh, and chemicals. So when they're using more aggressive chemicals, what's happening is that it's eroding the protection on your car. So I thought this would be very fitting. Let's see if new finish will really hold up to aggressive liquids and chemicals that actually eat away at the protection of your car to see if one coat of new finish will hold up to 52 automatic car wash simulations. Let's go check it out. Okay, so new finish obviously is not new to anyone. It's been around forever. Um, and so a couple things that I do wanna to touch on, you have to think as a consumer grade product, when it's sitting on the shelf and it says no buffing, no rubbing, once a year, these are all really trigger words for the general consumer. So let's try it out because again, what I'm most interested in is that it says independent test have proven that it can go through 52 automatic car washes. Now, if you notice, I switched out the cap because it came with a twist off cap and then there was really no way to apply the product. I mean, you get it in it, you have to open it like this. I mean, no rubbing, no buffing, nothing. Um, per the directions, uh, it actually says you are gonna have to rub it. So wash and dry the car, shake well, and apply with a damp cloth one section at a time, let it dry to a haze, and wipe off with a clean, soft cloth. So let's do that right now. So on your right side, so this panel has been, you guys have seen it, kind of been through the ringer with compounds and polishes and all that. So it's been completely compounded, erased. Nothing's on the panel at all. On this right side, there's, no, there's nothing, right? So this middle section is kind of gonna be my, my free zone, I guess, and then I'm gonna compare a few products. So I have a damp microfiber cloth. Let me make sure it's completely wrung out. So a damp microfiber cloth. Now, no rubbing, no buffing. Let's see if it talks about how much to use. Uh, apply with the damp cloth, okay. So let's just put a little bit, because I always get accused of using too much product. A Little bit right there. Let's apply it to this side of the panel. It's a sticky, sticky wipe on, but that could be because of the damp cloth as well. And then it says to wait and let it dry to a haze. So let's give it a few minutes. It already looks hazy in my opinion. And the damp cloth is probably, I don't know why it's on the wipe on, but then I, I'm transparent with that and I say stuff like that and then I get people that hate on that as well. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I actually got asked today if I detailed for a living. Nope, I just make free videos on YouTube for the troll comments. I actually don't, I don't do anything for a living. Of course I detail for a living, what kind of question is that? Okay, so as you can see, I, I laid down a really, really light layer. Let's see if it talks anything about layering can be used on fiberglass boats, RVs, airplanes. It also polishes chrome surfaces. So, uh, you know, other videos, <clears throat> excuse me, have talked about this. What is it if it's, if it's not a compound? You know, it's, because I think it says that, right? It, it contains no wax. It won't scratch the surface so your clear coat. It's so amazing you can even apply it in direct sunlight. There's no other formula like it guaranteed. So what is it? It doesn't contain a wax, but a, so what is it? 
it's probably a cleaner wax as other videos have talked about. Okay, I think we're pretty much dried to a haze here. Kind of hard to see on the camera, but it does look like a haze. A very nice wipe off, to be honest. Again, it was a, uh, a very, very light coat, but it did wipe off very nice. I know this product gets a lot of heat, so that was a very, very nice wipe off. Uh, let me do another layer, because I just feel like I didn't put enough on there. And so I'm gonna put another layer on there. A little bit thicker this time, because we're gonna start beating this up, because it says 52 automatic car washes, and that was the, the part I'm most interested in. So we will get to that in a second. Like that, there. Bada bing, bada boom. And then, let me go over here, and while that's kind of curing, I'm gonna start lining up some of the chemicals to beat it up against. So I got a few of my friends. Super clean, iron and fallout remover. Okay, it doesn't give us a time frame to wait, so it does say to work one panel at a time, so I'm assuming you really wouldn't want to wait any longer than that, or else it would take you forever to do the car. It does not talk about doing um, doing it by machine or by hand or DA or rotary or any specifics like that. It's very, very vague on what to do. It does not smell good. It smells very chemically, but the wipe off was incredibly smooth. So there was the application of it. Now, let's see what the water, <clears throat> what the water behavior looks like <clears throat> with it just raw. So fresh. So you can kind of see, I mean, maybe it sheets, it, it, you know, it contains no wax, so or it says it contains no wax. It does sheet water at, at a decent rate, much faster than you can see on the right of the camera, that right side, so it is sheeting water. It is sheeting water, you know, m much faster than a bare side. So let's turn that off. Let me grab my Dreadnought towel. One of the best drying towels I've ever tried to date. I actually sell these on jimbodaily.com where you can find all my uh, products that I recommend and sell a little bit of as well as in the show notes below if you're interested. Okay, so we saw what it looks like. Now, let's say you do this to your car and you're hitting your rims with a iron and fallout remover. So this is the Griot's iron and fallout remover. Obviously there's not gonna be any iron or fallout removers in this panel. But say you spray it on your rims and you could see it's kind of floating in the air there. So you spray it on your rims because fallout removers are nice to, nice to uh, use on your rims. So let's say you do that. You're letting it dwell. Got new finish on your car. Again, it says 52 automatic car washes. And that number 52 is not on accident. That's one car wash a week for a year. Hence the name, the once a year car polish. So here we go. Let's get off this iron remover. So maybe you take it to the automatic car wash and the automatic car wash isn't going to use an iron remover, but you can see that's already, that's not doing bad, okay? And then let me take a wet towel and make sure I got it off completely. So this is no soap or anything like that, but let me just take a damp or a, my wet towel and just completely clean the surface. I'm trying to, in these experiments, get the best feel or the best, uh, you know, result 
best result. Dang it, I suck with my words sometimes. The be the realest result. So I don't want to. We saw how soap had hindrance to hydrophobic properties before on other on other tests and such. So. I think just a wet towel will make sure, and a good rinse will make sure we got all that off. I mean, as you can see, it's extremely hard to tell the difference from the right side or the left, but maybe it's still there. Very hard to tell. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. But let's be honest, an automatic car wash is not going to be using an iron remover because iron removers are incredibly expensive, right? And if you go through a brushless car wash tunnel, a brushless automatic car wash, they're going to be using some really hard and aggressive chemicals. Something like super clean, right? Because the point of the automatic tunnel car wash is to get your car clean and nothing gets your car cleaner than some strong chemicals. So you go through the automatic tunnel wash, like this says it can withstand 52 of. And let's even say that this is a little much and equate it to five car washes, right? So why don't we say, why don't we say four, right? So say you went once a month, um, say you went once a month to the automatic tunnel wash and got this product sprayed or something similar, a degreaser, maybe the, the wheels or the tires or the rims, even though that's another thing that people give me crap for is I say rims because there's rims and tires. Maybe it's just a California thing. And people tell me, they're not rims, they're wheels. Whatever. So, okay. Let's let that dwell on the surface a little bit. Again, doing the whole surface. So I'm gonna be doing an additional video after this. You can see it, it's even bringing up the glue a little bit. So this is an aggressive thing. And, I have, I don't have kids over at the school anymore. I have dogs. It's because my dog's outside and now the kids are acting like dogs. Awesome, even better. All right, let's get that off, see where we're at. As you can see with the water, super, super flat across the whole panel, right? Extremely flat and you could doctor this however you want. But let's get my damp towel back. Maybe there is residue on the surface. So let me get my damp towel back, bring it out and wipe it to see if we get any characteristics back whatsoever. Again, this towel has nothing in it or on it except for any residue that may be left on the panel that I wanna wipe off. And as we found out, even a bare panel will bead water and sheet water a little bit, but I'm really looking for that flat, flat, flat. So let's bring the water back over here, see where we're at. And as you can see, the panel is not sheeting water, even like it was. It's, it's repelling the water, and I think what made this one hard is the fact that the water beads weren't that great from the very beginning. So, as we see it, the, the, the rate at which the water is evaporating is significantly less than what it was to start even matching the bare side, the bare minimum right there. Just for fun, let's even spray this on it. This is just another all-purpose cleaner. So let's say let's say even this simulates four washes again. So we're up to two months worth of washes in an automatic tunnel. This would be eight washes, I guess. Then spraying these harsh chemicals. May we rub it in? Get another towel and rub this in real good. And what's interesting is with other sealants and waxes even, we see it when we spray, you could see when we spray the chemical on the panel, when the panel's flat, it's not 
fighting, there's nothing fighting it off and kind of breaking it up. As w Let me respray this side so I can show you what I mean, which I guess would mean three months. As you can see, that it's the chemical is eating the adhesive on the tape right there as well. But you can see when I'm spraying it on the panel like that, the product is sitting, the, the, the all-purpose cleaner is sitting on the surface, just like with this flat panel. But when there's a sealant on it, what we will see, and maybe this is a better way to judge if, if the sealant is still there versus the water beading, is you could see that it's trying to fight off the sealant. It really is trying to, to fend it off, to get it off the surface. And I think that's where we see the durability come through is when a product is actually trying to fight off the surface. And I do not see that with this uh, new finish. The, the, the all-purpose cleaner, degreaser, whatever, is just simply sitting on the surface there. So, let's see that. Oh, I don't want to cross-contaminate. Well, that's my old towel hanging there. Turn this hose back on. And let's rinse this off really good. And then I will wipe it with my wet towel. You can see it's completely flat, but that means there's a little bit of residue left on the surface there. So I'll wipe it off with this wet towel, which I think is better than a waterless wash even. Maybe dry it once more. So I really do think that that's how we're gonna test the durability from here on out is when you can see it, you can see the sealant underneath kind of fending off the chemical not just letting the chemical sit there in a road because that's what the bare surface looks like. As you can see, very, very flat, very flat, not fending off the water. So I would say new finish is a cleaner wax like others have stated in videos before me. I would say that it has little to no durability unless it's being topped with a topper, like a spray wax or a spray sealant or something like that, which is of course goes back to my whole thesis, is use a spray wax as a drying aid or a spray sealant or something like that because it's just, you can assure yourself that you're getting protection every time you wash your car. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Again, one of the most requested videos for me to do has been this new finish. So I wanted to do that for you guys. I don't think there's any durability there. And I think now where the advancements in the technology have gone with detailing products specifically, that you can get a much better product, which I'm sure most of you know, for a lot cheaper, that's a lot easier to apply. But I do think that, and I'm kind of surprised by that, the wipe off was much easier than I expected. I expected it to be really hard. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Let me know what products you'd like to see on future videos. I have a few more in the tank. Um, let me know. Catch you guys on the next one. See ya.